All right, in this video, I'm going to uh, show you an app called Custom Widget Maker, and this is the little brother, in my opinion, to uh, Custom Live Wallpaper, but uh, I highly recommend doing it if you're into customizing your stock launcher. Um, if you don't know what a launcher is, I'll talk about it in a second, but uh, this is the free version. Of course, there's your paid version, too, which gives you a few more things to install, and also I recommend just going ahead and checking out the custom live wallpaper as well. But, you know, this one is a little bit, uh, it's not as involved, but then again, it's highly customizable. And to show you what I'm talking about, let's have a look. So here's Custom Widget Maker, not this, but here's what Custom Widget Maker will do. Um, this is a default, notice I'm just sliding my widgets around. So I have a widget there, well, did I slide it? I can slide it down here, I can swap them around, whatever. This is on a default uh, launcher screen. I'm using TouchWiz on a Samsung Note 4. Notice these two widgets look the same, right? Um, this is the one that's stock, and this one right here is the one I made using Custom Widget Maker, KWGT. And let me show you what we can do with this thing. So I'm going to go to KWGT, and there is that widget right there. And you can customize this thing to your liking. So let's, let me show you a few things real quick. Uh, first of all, uh, something you can do inside of here. Um, suppose you don't like the way Sunday looks. Once you get this thing set up, you can actually go in and change the font. So suppose I change it to something random, Star Jedi, that does not look right. But nonetheless, I mean, whatever font you have installed, look, look at that one right there, you know. Uh, let me go back here and change my 336. So changing that font. I'll put it in Porsche. That looks way too big, so what we can do there is I can knock the size down some, maybe. But then again, I'm not a fan of the way that looks. If you don't like the way it looks, you can adjust the size. Um, let's do, let's try airlock, see what that looks like. Okay, I mean, it's not the best looking thing, but hey, you can change these fonts. Also, you can adjust where it is. Now, this comes with a little learning curve. But look at what we're already doing. We're changing the way this thing looks. Suppose you wanted to go over here and change the, the temperature, the font of the temperature. The way I have this set up, I have to navigate to it. And there's my temperature. I don't like its font, so I'm going to change it to something else. All right, there we go. We can do this to every single word we have up here. Also, what you can do inside of uh, KWGT you can also apply what's called global variables. You can quickly change fonts the way I just did, though I didn't use it through global variables. But watch this time now. I can go change that color if I want to. So now the time is in red. Suppose I wanted to change my date. The way I had this set up in globals, I can change my date. Suppose I want it like a light blue. Suppose I want my temperature to be shown in a light green. Just like that. See how these things are changing right on the fly? My location, I'm in Wilson. Suppose I want it to be a yellow. Whatever. But look at this. Let's save it. It's saved. Let's go back and look at there. Now, you can't do any of that with that stock widget. You know what I'm saying? Not only can you do that, check this out. Suppose if I touch this little time right here, watch what happens. You can set custom widget to open certain things based on touch. So I have it set to, you know, go to my uh, little clock app where I can adjust my alarms, set a timer real quick, whatever I want. You can set the touch to do pretty much anything you want it to do. When I tap this sun, watch what happens. It's going to load up my weather app just like that. You cannot do this stuff with a stock widget. Now, what I've showed you here, oh yeah, look, see little buttons, you can find icon fonts. I have one right here. If I tap that, notice my weather was updated nine minutes ago. If I tap that, look, updated moments ago. So now my temperature is updated, which it didn't change, I don't think. But nonetheless, as you can see, this is totally customizable. Now, these are stock widgets as well, but the better you get at KWGT, you can even create this thing. This is for Verizon, but you can create something that looks almost identical to that. You can put maps um, using KWGT. Now again, this right here is a widget that came with Weather Underground, but nonetheless, you can make something that looks identical to this, and you can make it have the touch features. You can put whatever you want to put on it. What I've showed you here is just the tip of the iceberg. Yes, it does come with a little learning curve, but 
you can make your phone look exactly how you want it to look um, on a stock launcher too. Uh, th this is totally stock. Um, I'm not rooted or anything like that. Uh, you can just put this on pretty much any Android device. Granted, it's relatively up to date. But there you have it. Like I said, go ahead and have a look at KWGT. Now this is the, the key. I think the key, what was the price for that? Um, you could try it for free first, you know, get used to it, get the hang of it. But trust me, you're, you're going to want to go ahead and buy it. And then once you get used to that, if you haven't already purchased KLWP, you should hit that up too. Um, the developer, he is very active in the communities. Um, check out my YouTube channel. I have a playlist for a lot of videos that are geared towards KLWP. And um, there's a ton of things. Look at all these pictures. I mean, all these things here are are made that calendar was made um, this little thing here circles colors you can do whatever you want so go ahead and check it out and uh, if you have some questions um, visit the KOWP communities I think there are some links um, well there's one website you can visit but um just you know do a Google search uh, custom look for custom G plus community and I'm sure you can find um, exactly what you're looking for there you go. There you have it. That's KWGT, and that's it for this video. Hope it helped.